all right guys so we've never done like an actual vlog before so i don't even know if this camera angle's right but i guess we will find out uh actually on my way to the gym uh and i was gonna let y'all know what's up under this right here y'all seen felicity but uh thinking about actually going over really quickly what is under the hood so hold on one second i'm gonna pull this off and just really quick document what we have going on with felicity 2020 s 1000 double r so stand by here we go love this bike i'll go more i will go over it more in detail later but just want to do a quick little video of what we have going on um point out a couple of the different upgrades that i've done personally and you can definitely leave in your comments um what you would do differently what do i not have that you think that i should put on it as far as like thinking about taking these off putting bar and mirrors definitely need frame protection but bmw does not have them available yet um and i do want to go with the bmw brand so really quickly just the things that i've done uh as you can tell the m axle sliders um i do track this bike on the drag strip emerald coast drag strip to be exact but also we'll take this bike to jennings the only other track that i've ever been to but uh, we will get to that in just a moment. Like I said, really quick video. Um, I have my Punisher uh, reflective. That means if anything obviously hits it with headlights, that will be reflective. Also got my Punisher slash Sparta um, emblem right here on the front tire hugger. Um, we have my camera mount. I have multiple camera mounts all over this bike. But this one right here gives it kind of a spaceship look. Um, when I incorporate these straps, to slam this front end down this actually touches this and i have to take that camera mount off obviously um not sure if you can see this camera mount but uh back there i've got one of my gremlin bells i've got my two dog tags uh kylo and ray which are my pit bulls uh, they're the original dog tags i have them you know hanging right up under there but um still got the stock rims um i bounced back and forth between the don't mind that i'll blur that out um but uh I, I run the stock tires most of the time um but this tire or i'm sorry this bike eats tires man it's just so much power uh i think i put 100 miles on a brand new set of tires at jennings uh one time before i totally shredded them out but um but i was also a newbie not really knowing what i was doing coming out of the corners too hard um accelerating at the wrong time but anyways uh we have the uh radiator uh and oil cooler guard going on down there um as far as my filter i'm not running the sprint filter just because i feel like uh, i rode use this 90 percent of the time and track it maybe the other 10 percent of the time so i'm not trying to squeeze out a little bit more uh, hp Hi, i forgot my keys in the house i brought them out but uh so anyways usually i run a camera mount here if i'm at the track um because these are gone i've got my camera mount here i got my little punisher guy right there this right here is also another camera mount just so that i can see the dash um oh air filter it's canon um, my BMW 
brake fluid reservoir cover. I do have the protective screen on this right here because this is an expensive, uh, this computer or display screen is freaking expensive if you scratch it up. But we have the, I have a camera mount right here, GPS, uh, rear axle, we got the swing arm spools, new rage cycles, uh, fender eliminator, uh, this blue, fun fact, blue is from when I did my uh, gender reveal for my baby, Nishan Isaiah Eshelman. Uh, it's stained, this right here, I am a part of the BMW MOA. Uh, again, uh, Jennings is the only racetrack I've ever been on other than uh, Emerald Coast Dragway. Uh, but yeah, this is my rear camera mount, my new shorty. Are not shorty I did have the shorty this is the long Acra can um, now I can take this on pretty much any racetrack regardless of the decibel limits uh, before I had the shorty can um, this is the full titanium setup it's not as blue as I would like it to be but hey I guess all blues are not created equally um, but it is a titanium setup this fin uh, BMW has been known, I guess the frame gets so hot that this fin will tend to, the frame will be hot, so the fin will become, I guess, more brittle, and it's only tapped in by these two spots that you really can't see, but I'll probably replace that with a carbon fiber piece, I'm assuming. Haven't decided yet. Um, it's right here my pastor gave me, it's just like a little freaking farkle of, uh, you know, survival whistle, compass, you know, just... Just far. Uh, again, BMW rear brake reservoir uh, cover. Uh, but yeah, that's it, man. I mean, there's really not too much that I've done to this bike. I've put some the tech grip on here. Um, I've got my belt buckle protects right here. Ice, obviously, that's my wife's phone number in case of emergency. Um, I did. Uh, these do not come with this. You have to put this together. So since the wife is pregnant at the time, I'm the only one that rides on this. So we have our rear tire, our uh, pillion, uh, Latina's only sticker really that's on the bike. My wife is Latina and she wanted it there. So anyways, that's what we got. Uh, I'm thinking about going and changing out the levers here at a later time. I just, I really don't know what I want to do to this bike. I, I do, and planning on painting this the same color red. Um, I think that would uh, make it pop really nice. But anyways, in your comments, let me know what you think. Um, too gaudy. I don't know. Just let me know what you think. But I'm on my way to the gym. This was, man, this is eight minutes. This was eight minutes of my gym time. Uh, yeah, I'm not a blogger. I just turn the cameras on before I get on the bike and go and which is what we're about to do right now show you what this dash looks like real quick the other mine underneath my portico it's uh kind of dirty at the moment in the helmet camera spot we're gonna go to the gym <laughs> 